Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, and yes, I like Bitcoin, I like my hoodie, I like my hat, and I also seem to like snow. It was snowing all day, guys. Check this here, check. Amazing view now. When we arrived, it was not that much snow, but now that we had, I think, 20 centimeters fall this night. Now, today, Friday, I wish you an amazing, beautiful Friday, uh, amazing, beautiful double Friday. Uh, let's quickly jump into the charts because I have some amazing information. Yes, Bitcoin dropped, but check this. Okay. This is the first one. This is the four hour chart, guys, like you can see. Oh. on the oryx platform and the bam bam indicator again told you to short guys this was an amazing long and here you should have taken the profit in your long like i said at that moment in the video profit is profit if you took profit congratulations with your profits if you didn't take profit next time you will and um, especially when it closes down below the yellow stepping line over there then you need to exit the trade if you start the short over there then the confirmation of that short is when the candle closes down below the stepping line. The bam bam did already cross over there. And we see the red line on top. And we see a lot of yellow area starting. So that would be a confirmation of the short. So the short you would have taken from here till there. If you're trading with leverage. It's 5% at the moment. If you don't trade with leverage. Then you could have bought at the long flag and sold at the short flag. And then buy back again at the long flag. That is the four hour chart, guys. In the four hour, we see the support around that 41,350 level. We are at that support now, but we can see it better when we zoom, zoom out, <laughs> zoom out to this one. Um, you have seen this chart many times this week. The W pattern that should have been breaking out all the way up to that 53K level. That's the target. Uh, at the moment, we are not breaking out of the level. We are again retesting this level, just like in the middle. Of the w like we did over here we went up and we came back to the yellow line now we went up and we are coming back to the yellow line that yellow line should act as support if that one doesn't act as support we could fall back to that second yellow line at 38 900 so this line now needs to hold and then again we need to go up in the weekly, you can see the same. We had that long flag again in the bam bam indicator. Yes, it was again a right call to buy. Um, I told you guys, we need to break that stepping line. The resistance is exactly at that stepping line. We need to break that stepping line. That is 43,800. The moment we break that stepping line with a candle, with a full body above it, that is the moment I expect the rest of the run to go all the way up to uh, 66 to 70, you know, thousand US dollar. I don't know how far we can go up at that push, but that is the moment. We need to break a candle, uh, uh, close a candle above that yellow stepping line. That candle is going to close in two days and 17 hours. So, or we need a very healthy weekend push that is going to close that candle above it, or it is going to be resistance and again we will need to create a new green candle that goes higher again as long as this candle closes above that closing of the previous candle i'm still very positive you can see the long flag is there you can see the green area starting to widen and it can get way more white than you see over there also we can see the rsi in the bottom and we can go to the to, uh, where to that white line that is the downward like trend line and we need to break that. When we break that, that will be the moment when we also close above the yellow stepping line. If you want to trade all of this using the BAMBAM Bam indicator, you can get the BAMBAM Bam indicator on the bitcoinfamily.com. Um, you can also get a free indicator. I will show you that one on the at, at, at the end of the video. But use these links to sign up to the exchanges. These links will give you bonuses up to $4,100 at Bybit plus a 30% discount on fees for trading and you get access to the launchpad. On OKX at the moment you can get a bonus up to 5,000 US dollar. Femex, Prime Equity, all of these have bonuses. If you want to find a, a crypto course in Dutch, we have this one here from Madelon, good course. Uh, we can buy the t-shirts that I'm wearing and the hoodies over there, buy crypto. All the links are down below the videos. Now, <coughs> I will zip my coffee 
Well, we zoom out to the monthly. I hope you didn't miss this chart. That's why I'm repeating this chart again in this video. Um, there are three lines in the monthly that we need to um, look at and we need to zoom out. But as you can see, all back in history, the orange, the blue and the red line were important. If we break the orange line, we fall to the blue line. If we break the blue line, we will fall to the red line. That's how simple it is on this chart. We broke the orange line, we fell to the blue line. If this blue line keeps support, we need to break that orange line again. The orange line at the moment is 45,853 US dollar. If we close the candle above that, that is very, very positive. If this line becomes resistance, like it is at the moment, and maybe I can zoom in so you can see how it's playing out exactly. Look, the wick touched that orange line almost. So that one is becoming resistance. Then we can fall back to that blue line again. That support is now at 37,300. If we break that one, then we are in big trouble. Then I expect to go to the bottom of the logarithmic growth curve at 29 and even lower to maybe the 200 weekly moving average. But that one is now above the previous all time high of um, 20k. Again, I don't believe this. I think we will see another bullish year. So for me, we are going to break that orange line and then go for the midline of the logarithmic growth curve again. But that's how you zoom out in Bitcoin. Even if we would fall to the 200 weekly moving average, we would still be higher than the previous all-time high, and that would form a new bottom in this area to build the new bull run. But for me, let's see if we can break that 45k. Now, I told you we have a free indicator as well. This is this one. This is the GTGAR or the GTGAR. Um, that one is working like a traffic light. When it is a green can, a green arrow, and then followed by an orange and a red. That's the perfect combination to go for a long. Like you can see over here as well, every time that happens, green, orange, red, perfect confirmation for a long. The green is an early entry, the orange is a confirmation of the green, so that's a mid-term risk entry, and the red is, okay, you need to enter now. On the other way around, the combination is always, if the yellow and the um, red arrow follow each other up, it is a sell. Yellow and red follow each other up. It is a cell. Definitely when we have a new moon over there. That is a moon cycle. When we have that in combination with the, red, the yellow and the red, you sell. There is a lot of information in this free indicator. I'm making videos about this. I'm going to set those videos free as soon as possible so you understand exactly how to trade it. This was the four hour chart. If you want to get access to this one, then you go to thebitcoinfamily.com and on products on the bottom you will find the gt gar and then you need to walk through these five steps over there you can become a member you just subscribe to the youtube if you didn't yet you click this link to set up to, uh, an account at bybit you follow us and you fill the form that's all now let's quickly jump in two more charts because else the video is becoming too long again and that are where am i <laughs> These two sides. This is the first one. Um, yes, created by Charles BTC. Over there will my face be. Uh, I like this chart. And this chart, um, I've shown it many times before. This is the Bitcoin price uh, history and the log scale. Um, and, and you can see these these blue cups. In my opinion, are the cups like uh, that Bitcoin is on the water and there's always the moment you should be buying, in my opinion. Um, first top, 32. Second top, 1163. Then 20k, then 65k, then 69k. To the uh, bottom price is $2, to $150, to $3,000, to $29, to $33,000. At the moment, we are around $41,000 US dollar. So if you just look at this chart, the only thing you can see is that we are slowly going up. So for me, this chart has shown me to zoom out. And these cups, we are in the blue areas. Every time when we come near the bottom of such, such a cup, that, that's the moment you buy. That's the moment you buy. The moment you see this yellow line going up again, this yellow area, orange area, I need to say, that is the moment you know, okay, this is going to form another cup. And in my opinion, those cups uh, are the moments to buy. And you see that even better if you look at this chart. Um, this is also charts BTC, guys. Yes, I like his charts because they are simple and easy to explain and also to understand. Bitcoin price history by year. 
Here you can see all the years. The 2016 is this yellowish one on the bottom. Then we get the 2018, the 2019. Um, 2017 was, of course, this huge bull run year that at the end was above all the other lines. But in the beginning, it was below the other lines. You can see it started to cross these lines in the end during the bull run. 2020, of course, also started at the same levels as these other, other lines. Of course, a little bit higher and higher and higher, but at the end, we saw that huge run indeed up to almost 30k. And then we had the beautiful year of 2021 um, that started at the 30k and went all the way up to 69k um, and then, sorry, 64k and 69k. And now um, ended somewhere above 40k. And this is now 2022. It started at 50k, it fell down, we're crawling up again. So the question is now, where is this line going to end? In the first, like, say, nine years, and Bitcoin was around these levels of 10k, 0 to 10k. Will the next nine years be around these levels, 30 to 50k? So will this one be around that blue line and top out a little bit and come back or will we form a complete new line above this blue line again that's the question and um, really interesting chart but it shows you that bitcoin every line is going higher and higher and higher so that is what bitcoin has been doing in the history going up that was everything for today bam i hope you really enjoyed this video if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment and for all those ones that leave comments dd you always talk happy about bitcoin again if you're not happy with that and not happy with what is happening in the world and not happy with wars and not happy with money that's being frozen by banks stop using their currency as long you use their currency they will keep financing wars, they will keep freezing bank accounts, and they will keep controlling the world because you use their currency. Step into our world and start to use only cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and many others. Stop using fiat. And then they will, at the end, need to stop doing what they are doing at the moment. And we will take back the control and the power back to the people and Divide the currencies, the bitcoins and the cryptos to those areas in the world that we think that need to be improved. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bang!